Uh, hey guys, this is Winston here on Befluff, uh, behalf of FluxWithIt.com. Uh, we're here with Hex Inverter, and they're going to tell us about a couple new modules that they have today. Hey, I'm Stacy with Hex Inverter, and I'm here to show you the Mutant Rim Shot and the VCNO. So first up is the Rim Shot here. It's a uh, it's a, a percussion synthesis module, and it makes rim shots. So uh, let's hear it here. So it does kind of like vanilla sort of um, 9090 rim shots, but also it gets pretty weird the minute you start moving controls around. So there's a pitch control for one of the oscillators in it. There's a state variable filter that can be high pass, band pass, or low pass. It can self-resonate, uh, so that's interesting for adding like pitch sweep sine waves in with the rim shot. Like the, a lot of the other mutant drums, it has an external input, which lets you blend in your own sound sources as well. Um, so yeah, let's just twiddle some knobs around here. Uh, uh, also, it has a clav mode, so let's hear that. So I've just got a pretty basic pattern going on here. I, I do like the claves. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my PWM. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, and it's interesting because uh, the circuits I was inspired by uh, were uh, sort of the 909 circuits. Um, and the 909 didn't have a clav mode, so this is sort of like, you know, if it had one. Wow, that was piercing. Yeah, so. Uh, I don't really have any modulation going, so things kind of open up once you start modulating the filter and that sort of thing. Uh, there's an internal modulation bus which lets you take the mod decay envelope and uh, instantly apply that to the filter cutoff. So that's helpful for when you're doing, when you're actually adding in um, uh, the resonating filter because you can send that directly to the filter and get pitch sweeps like that. Okay, so moving on, the other module we're showing this cam is the VCNO. It's a voltage-controlled noise oscillator. Um, it uses a linear feedback shift register, which basically is just a pseudo-random pattern of bits. And you can control the speed that these bits come out at. And at full speed, it makes pure white noise to our ears. So we're hearing that now. Um, it, so in addition to just the white noise output, it has a bunch more. But when you modify the pitch, as you can hear, you get this crunchy effect. So the other outputs, something else going on. Ah, there we go. It's gone. So the other outputs, we have screech. So you can hear that it has kind of a howling tone to it. That's really cool. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the there's also sizzle. So sizzle sounds the same when this, uh, basically this control allows you to vary the amount of, um, of ticks that come through. So as you turn it down, less ticks come through and you get kind of a uh, like vinyl crackle effect. And yeah, so that's pretty interesting when you modulate it. And we also have a tear output, which sounds kind of broken. Almost a bit crushy. Yeah, a little bit. So, in addition to making noise, it also has some utility function. So, this can operate at whatever frequency, including below audio rates. And there's a clock input. So, you could, for instance, plug your sequencer into there, and then you get random gates coming out of it. So, oh, really that's cool. Pretty much the two modules we're showing. Uh, there will be lots more info online. Uh, if you want to see all the features and in-depth demos, but